This is the heart shaped box tutorial and we're going to start with a single box and we're going to need two cylinders and they both can be the same size so I'm just going to pull them in this way. Now I'll zoom in a little bit from there. I need to bring that heart box. I need to bring that cylinder halfway into the box on that side. I'm going to bring this cylinder halfway into the box on that side. Well, I'm just eyeballing it but when it's right, you can tell. So now I've got these three shapes. It's the two cylinders and, and the cube. I'm going to select them all and group them. Look at that, now we have a heart. So with that heart, I am going to duplicate it. And I'm going to make one of them, which you know there's two here. You saw with the duplicate tool before. There's one right on top of the other. I'm going to make one of them just a bit smaller than the other and you can see it there it is getting smaller than the other and I'm going to slide that selected one over with my arrow keys so that it is nice and even in there and I can see right here I got just a little bit off I'm gonna pull it out just one more okay so that is pretty good right there but my problem is I need to turn this into a hole and it's going to be a hole top and bottom and I don't want that. So I'm going to make the hole taller just so I can see it. Right? And the next thing I'm going to do, well, let me show you. If I were to select, select these two right now and group them, there's going to be a hole through the heart. It would be like a whole napkin holder or something like that. I don't want that. I want to make it a box. I want a solid bottom. So I'm going to ungroup that. And I'm going to take that hole and bring it up just a few millimeters, let's say three millimeters. Now when I group it together again, look at that, I have a heart-shaped container. Now, here is one part of my heart-shaped box. I could leave it this way, or I could make a perfect lid to go on it. Now to make a perfect lid, all I'm gonna do is duplicate this guy here is my base. Let's make a lid. I'm going to ungroup these. I'm going to turn this guy into a solid. And I hope you see it happening already. I'm going to slide this down just a touch. Not that much. I'm going to take this base right here. And I'm going to, you know, it would be easier to keep it flat. So I'm going to take that and shrink it down to the lid. I'm going to take this, shrink it down here. Now the reason I've done this, oh my gosh, I have a lid already, but the reason I've done it like this instead of just making a lid on the outside is because it would slide right off. So I made a second indent. So this is exactly, because it was a duplicate, same size as this. Now that gets me into a little bit of trouble because this guy will not fit perfectly into there. It'll be, the edges will match up right with each other. So I am going to take this and take it into 24, just one millimeter in here, one millimeter in here, and then I'm going to make sure it is centered nicely. All right, there we go. So now I have a perfect lid that will fit perfectly onto my box. It is really easy to make a heart-shaped box if you embrace duplicate and if you embrace group. So now I've got two pieces that will fit perfectly together and they will be easy to print two perfect cards on the back. That's all there is to the heart-shaped box. Very simple to do. Now I want you to try it.